said I wouldn't do that, but I did, sorry. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Tree Muffin's LP Let's Play thing. So, uh, I'm just putting this backboard and I put the roof on, on my storage, to make it look nice and crispy. Uh, I was busy in between episodes, I, uh, I made this little staircase up here. And I went mining and I got quite a few more diamonds. Let me show you how much diamonds I got. Look at this, 13 diamonds. And there are so many zombies around. I'm gonna sleep. I have to kill you. Go away! Anyway, I found something special over in between episodes. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but there is a chance we could get a saddle. You probably know what it is now. <laughs> I just found it, like, I went over here to find to see if to see if I could see a dog, and I saw this. I was like, what? How lucky is that? Oh, I need to light it up. Ah! <laughs> Uh, I don't, I want to open this chest, but I also don't, because I don't want to be disappointed. Have a saddle, please. <laughs> oh, come on. At least I got a golden apple. Anyway, in today's episode, I'm thinking about, we do some lots of farming, get some sugar cane, uh, pumpkin, melon, if we can find melon, uh, wheat, all the seeds we can do, pretty much. Uh, we're just going to have a massive farm around over here. Like a, a regular shaped farm. And then, if we have enough time, we're going to go journeying north. Which way is north? I don't... I, uh, oh, this way. <laughs> Up the mountain. And then we're going to see if we can find a village. Look at all these bows I've been getting. I don't know why, but I've been getting them really commonly. I could just combine them together to get, like, a fully charged bow. Damn. I don't have any arrows, so I'm not going to use that. Well, I might have some arrows, but... 11. Yeah, it's just not worth it. <laughs> okay, let's make an iron hoe. Stone ones are, like, pathetic. Even though they're probably better value. So, I'm thinking, like, just near the edge. Around. I need water down. You buffoon. Whatever, I'll just do this. And then I need it four blocks off, uh, four blocks the other direction. I'll just place it here for now. I need, I need uh, some down to get like the general shape. I don't know what we do about this change in level. We could just add some dirt in. Yeah, let's add dirt in. Anyway, you uh, seem to like episode one of. Tree Muffins LP. So uh, I'm gonna keep up the daily episodes. Uh, I had episode two days ago. I had an episode yesterday, and I had have an episode today. But for me, it's actually the second day, and this is coming up tomorrow. Don't know if you can figure that out. Your brain is very small. Each water source can do a nine by nine area, which is just four blocks in each direction. So if I put this here. That means I'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. All in each direction, and then just fill in the squares. It's always the way how I figure it out. Alright, that's all, uh, I think that's the right size. I think I'm going to dedicate all this to wheat, maybe, and then have different farms around the edges of this path. Maybe sugar cane going all the way along here, in like a curve. If I can find sugar cane. First of all, we're just going to place all this wheat seeds down. Don't have much, but they'll multiply. Oh! I see you. Ha! <laughs> I see you, sugar cane. I bet it's going to be... My bet is three tall. Yes. They can spawn naturally four tall, but... Oh, three. I was right. Just going to 
you know, add like a three layer thickness to this bit around this edge so I can have the sugar cane without it being like on the very edge. You may not have known this, but you can actually place slabs on the top half of that water and the water will stay, like half of it will stay on the other side and still keep all this uh, cropland watered, moist. Have sugar cane on these all along these edges, you know, because I need a lot of sugar cane for that uh, enchantment table. Mm. I probably could make an enchantment table actually. Should I go do that? I just need like a few things. Ah, no, I need one book, two books, one book. So, yeah, while they grow, I'm gonna attempt to make a little pumpkin farm. Mm. Uh, around here can I just put this in here oh yeah but isn't there a way to get more seeds through shearing I swear there is let me see you can place it down and then get seeds that way and then you can smash them down oh no but I got four seeds from that so this way I get a pumpkin and seeds oh damn Easy. Why not? It's got 24 seeds. Whoa. Should we put water there? Oh, I don't have a hoe. Let's make a hoe. I'm just going to put water there, and then I'm going to go four blocks out in each direction. Just like the uh, wheat farm. And then I'm just going to place the seeds randomly. Makes it more natural, I think. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then fill in all these gaps. I'll make it look natural in a second. And then, once I've filled all this in, I'm just going to place random seeds. And then they'll grow in random directions, hopefully not on my path. <laughs> Didn't think about that. There we go. But I don't want it to be this rectangular shape, so I'm just going to dig up these edges. And then put round edges on them look at the size of this tree I'm gonna make you place a 4x4 and then make sure you bone mill these edges uh, I need more bone mill there we go you should if you don't get leaves in your face you should get like a massive tree just like this Look at the size of that. And that's probably like four stacks of wood. And I didn't really prepare myself to actually go mining for that. Oh. Ah, see you in a bit. There we go. I was pretty close with the four stack estimate. Uh, it would have been a lot more if that one of those trees wasn't so stumpy. Would have been around like five or six stacks. Um, I did actually make some saplings back from that but I don't think you will always make saplings so you have to be pretty careful what you do with them I think the only reason I got loads of saplings is because of this short stumpy tree with loads of leaves alright now that that's done I want to expand the tree house and I'm not doing that manually because I'm lazy uh, that's what you need to do when you build a tree house so I just need some ladders right things you need torches sapling Blocks, ladders, that's it. And you build it close to it. So you put sapling down. You put uh, blocks, two blocks away, I think this is. And then you put four high. You put four torches along those blocks. And then you bone mill the hell out of this sapling. Ah! Okay, I didn't want it. And that should force it into a large tree. Unless things have changed. Oh, please. I'm going to sleep. In the meantime, though, I did get a name tag from that treasure chest with the zombie farm. And I think I'm actually going to make a zombie farm with that uh, spawner eventually. Just for an XP farm. So I'm going to make a anvil and then I'm going to name tapeworm tapeworm. Because why not? And the recipe's not showing. 
There we go. Anvil. Um, you're going right here. Just going to call you Tape Worm. Have a gap in the middle. I'll have a gap. Tape Worm! There you go. Now Tape Worm is Tape Worm. I just need a saddle for Tape Worm, then I can ride Tape Worm. Right, it's been about uh, 15 minutes. That was glitched. Uh, sapling didn't grow. Got some sap. We got some sugar cane though. We got some saplings. <laughs> um, those trees grew. We got some wheat as well. And we got a pumpkin. Pretty epic. Uh, I'm just going to... I should probably just wait until this is all grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh... Pumpkin though, pumpkin, pretty epic. I don't know what pumpkins it actually used for apart from training. What were they used before it? Was it literally just pumpkin pie? Anyway, I'll have a chest here for the pumpkins, and I'll have a chest here. It's just gonna be a single one for now for the wheat. That way I can just access it right next to the farm. Anyway, I'm going to be chopping these trees. More wood, I know. But I have a plan for the future. Which takes a lot of wood. Another one grew. <coughs> I've done a lot of wood chopping today. And that one's going to grow soon, isn't it? I've got all that wood. Still won't be enough for what I'm going to be doing. Probably going to need triple this. Look at all those creepers! You alright mate? I'm gonna kill all of these. Yeah, this is what I meant about uh, natural pumpkins. Where it's all like random and... Rather than uh, having it in lines like people usually do. A nice bit of slab there. Oops. Blop. I just went searching for animals and there's like none. Apart from these horses. I want to get a, like a, a proper meat farm. Although I could live on bread. Hmm. Oh, cows? Cows. Right, I'll come back for them. I personally want to be a cow man this uh, series. Sorry, Hindus. And vegans. <laughs> Just harvested the crop farm. Now I'm just placing all the seeds back. I should get more than I place, which is pretty obvious, but you know, I'm hoping for quite a lot more. Oh, I did get quite a lot more. People don't know this, but you can actually put programmer art, which is always at the bottom, and it does the uh before when the textures were changed. Uh textures. So this is like 112 textures, and it's actually pretty noticeable. Jeez. Wow. Anyway, I'm going to play on the uh, 114. Did I think it changed? Or was it 113? 113 was a Quartic update. I think it was 114. I don't even know what 114 added. What did it add? I can't even remember. Whatever. Don't even matter. I'm going to have the cow farm over here. This time I actually have to fill the gaps because of the baby cows. 
Just have a big, nice area. I mean, they're semi-free range. They're not locked up in like a, a room they can't move. I mean, they all have to like step on each other's poo, but... <laughs> i got to supply McDonald's somehow. You probably know about the carpet trick, but I'll just tell you anyway. If you just put carpets on the edges, you can uh, step on top of the carpet and go over the fence. Uh, animals don't know how to do it, so they don't. <laughs> Ever. Come on, let's go up. If you ever want to get your, your axe out or something, put the wheat in your offhand, just pressing F. Because then they don't lose their attraction, you don't have to wait there for like a minute for them to get their attention back. Alright, I think we have time for just one more thing to do, and that's to go adventuring north. Uh, I need to sleep first and kill this zombie. Yeah, die. Get wrecked. Oh! It grew! Only took about four Minecraft days. Ha! <laughs> At least it grew. Uh, I thought that wasn't going to work. I need to kill you now. Right. I guess we're not adventuring then. We're just going to expand our base. Oh yeah, watch this. Just going to build this window a bit thinner. Less of a view. But we do get more of a walkway going into the other part of the base. I'm just going to start digging it out and try and get a nice big area just like this one. Look at that expansion, man. I mean, it isn't the biggest thing ever, but we can have some stuff up here. Maybe treasure, richities. I'm just gonna place the f uh, this floor black, 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 and uh, put it in the other room as well. I think I need to place a log here. Look, whoops. Uh, place it under the floorboards. That's what I'm gonna call them. Uh, is that far away? Well, it is, but is it too far away? My brain's not doing well. Uh, there we go. Go up a bit. I blocked up that window because I want to have like a window here and a window here. Because and then I think that's too much. So I'll get rid of it. So quick and easy to make a treehouse. There we go. Um, get rid of that log. I kind of needed that log, probably. Ah, I'll be fine. And then one over here. Just get my trusty trapdoors again. <laughs> Let's go see what it looks like from out here. And, oh, that's cool. Very cool. Definitely looks better than the uh, in the inside compared to the outside, but... Oh, well. Just going to get a nice screenshot of this. There's literally no good angle. Uh-oh. Anyway, I think we just have enough time to go exploring a few hundred blocks to the north. I doubt there'll be anything, but you never know. I'm going to quickly feed the cows first. <laughs> delays, delays, delays. Eat. Eat dirt. Oh yeah, if you want the seed, I don't know if I can... There you go. Ah, there's a small seed. Uh, there's the seed. And here's my location. Nothing interesting yet. Look at these mountains. Very dramatic. Oh, llamas. I'm coming back for you two. Right, I'm 600 blocks away. Oh, that is some weird lag. Nothing yet. But I did find a normal oak forest. So this is a good...
place to find a dog whenever I want to get one. Swamp. Bees. <gasps> oh, wow. Uh, I did not expect to find bees. Jesus. Right. So, we could make a campfire here. Then collect the beehive. Or... We don't have silk touch, so we can't do it that way. But anyway, that's enough of this episode. See you in the next one of True Muffin Survival. This is not True Muffin Survival. True Muffin's LP thingy. Uh, goodbye. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.